Hello my lovelies! So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a little review and application of these marmalade nails. These are the blackout coffin style. There is a little picture of everything you get. So the glue, the nails, a little manicure stick, and then a file. They also give you a little card with the application and removal instructions on there. Now I have already measured out all of my nails that I'm going to be using today. Um, and the best way to do that is really you just kind of go through um, a nail that looks the right size and you just kind of hold it up to your natural nail and see how it fits and you just go through all the sizes until you find the one that fits you best. And then you just want to make sure you have the same nail so you can do that either by size or there's a number on the tip so that you're having the same size on both hands. And then we are going to go ahead and go forward with the actual application. Um, so the first step is just to use the manicure stick you're given on the cuticle area of your nail. Um, so just kind of pushing it back. And that's just so that the nails have a more natural looking fit. Um, and then, you know, you they last a little bit longer because as your nail grows out, they're closer to the cuticle. Once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and take the nail file and I don't like to damage my natural nails too much because obviously once you take these off, you don't want your nails to be completely destroyed. So what I am doing, I'm using the softer side, they kind of have a rough side and then one that's a little bit not as abrasive, I guess you would call it. Um, so I'm using that non or less abrasive side and I am doing most of it right around the cuticle area so that that's where the glue holds really tight and then just a little bit down the length of the nail itself as well. After that you are supposed to take um, some nail polish remover and just clean off your nails to remove any oils and of course any little particles left over uh, so that your nail again the glue will have the best adhesion <laughs> that sounds weird um, as possible. Then you're going to go ahead and just apply the glue. Now they have a couple different ways you can do it based on how long you want the nails to stay on. I want them to stay on as long as possible. So I am putting some glue on the back of the nail itself and then on my natural nail as well. So for my natural nail, I just kind of focus it around the cuticle area again and then just rub some down the length of the full nail. Um, and then obviously you just apply the glue to the back of the nail itself. You really only need to do it um, as far down as about your natural nail is. If you do it longer than that, sometimes stuff will get stuck to the glue. So just try and watch that. And then once everything is glued, you just push the nail onto your natural nail. And then they recommend holding for about 10 seconds, starting at the cuticle and just pressing firmly. So I do that and then I kind of hold them a little bit extra as well, um, just because I want them to last as long as possible. Um, now, a little tip that I did want to add is um, to not put too much glue on. Um, you'll see I put too much on some of mine, and so there's a little bit of glue on the actual nail itself. Um, but that is them on. And then I am just applying the other hand here.
All right, there they are on. Um, I think they look really nice. There's a little dog nose. Um, but I think they look really awesome. Uh, you can cut and file these how you want. I already like the shape, so I am just filing off the rough edges there. And then I'm just going back with my little cotton pad with acetone to clean the glue off of my fingers. I did try and use both the file and the acetone to get the glue off the nails themselves. The file didn't really do anything. The acetone worked a little bit, but I didn't want to saturate it too much um, toward the point where it like removed the nail glue. So I just got it off a little bit and this is how they look. And then I will update you guys in a few days. Hello, my lovelies. I am back today to give you a little bit of an update on these nails. I put them on originally on Saturday and it is now Wednesday. So we are kind of at the shorter end of their time range that you say, or that they say you can wear them. Um, I really haven't had too many problems. The glue that was on kind of the edges has faded mostly, except for this one that had a lot. Um, that's just user error though, that's just me. Um, they all feel really solid, um, like they're on really well. I did have a problem with my right hand thumb. Um, I was in the shower washing my hair and um, I was opening my conditioner bottle that has like a, I guess like a pop top, pop lid. Um, and when I pushed it open, it actually popped off kind of the bottom half of my nail and cracked it. Um, so I do have that one here. I went ahead and just glued another one on um, right after I took this one off. So you can see, hopefully, right down here at the bottom, I cracked it. And I'm not sure, um, that's probably my shortest fingernail. Like the other ones are a little bit longer, which I think might help them stick to the actual nail a bit better. Um, so I'm thinking maybe that's part of the problem. Um, also, obviously I'm using this hand a lot more, so that may be it as well. Um, but all in all, so far I really like them. Um, they look super pretty and super witchy, which is perfect for this time of year. And I've gotten quite a few compliments on them. So, so far, pretty dang good. Um, I will check back up with you guys in a couple of days. And we'll see how they're doing then. Hi guys, I am back to give you a quick little update on the nails today. Um, today is Thursday. Um, so it's been over a week. We're just about at the two week mark, which is kind of the long lifespan of these nails. Um, so far they have been pretty dang good. I have had to replace both of my thumbs. They both popped off. Um, and then I had to replace one on this finger. I did a really bad job applying it the second time. <laughs> um, because my dog was kind of nibbling at it and he popped it off. Um, but I haven't had any problem with the other ones staying on. I have even jammed some of them pretty hard and they didn't come off. So I think it just kind of depends. Um, I did get a crack in the tip of this one. I don't know if you can tell. Most of the time you can't really see it unless like I do my makeup and a little bit of foundation gets in there. Um, but really, so far, I think for the price, these are pretty dang good. You can see that my nails have grown out a little bit. Um, you can see the difference between the ones I've replaced and the ones that I haven't. Um, so I think probably two weeks is about a good point to where you'd want to replace them anyways. Um, the ends are starting to come up a little bit and snag my hair, which is usually kind of my stopping point for my fake nails. Um, so I think we'll probably have to pull them off and do a full reapplication in a few days. Um, and I'm actually tempted to paint over them. You're supposed to be able to paint over them with nail polish. So maybe we'll try that out. Um, but yeah, so we'll go a few more days and I will give you guys my final thoughts on these. Hello my lovelies. So this is going to be my final check-in on these nails from Marmalade, ooh, from Marmalade Nails. Um, today is now Sunday, so it's been just over two weeks since I applied them. Um, I think most of them I have had to put back on. Uh, the only ones are 
this pointer finger. You can tell they're a little bit more grown out than the rest of them. This one's close. Um, I can tell because my hair keeps getting caught on it. Also this ring finger and this pinky over here. <laughs> um, all the rest of them I have had to put back on. Um, I lost, <laughs> sorry, I lost both of my middle fingers um, just this past Friday, so right about the 14 day mark. Um, and actually this this pinky I think as well. No, nope, sorry, this one. Um, sorry if you can hear my dog jingling. <laughs> um, I just split this one today. This is the one that I had split. There's Ranger. <laughs> what do you think? You want to eat them? You want to say hi? Um, I just split this one today. I had cracked it just the first day after I put them on, so the Sunday after I put them on. Um, and it was fine. And then I've been doing a lot of cleaning today and it just totally split down the middle. Um, but I haven't really had any other problems other than my one thumb that did break. Um, the rest of them just kind of pop off when they're ready to come off. Um, but all in all, I think these are really awesome. They have a ton of cute designs. They last really well. Um, and I love that you can just reapply them rather than having to like redo a whole set. You can just apply the ones that need to be reapplied. Um, they're really affordable. They also do a lot of like rewards. So as you purchase and as you share on like social media, things like that, you do get points that will get you money off of your purchase. Um, so I would definitely recommend these. I think they're definitely worth trying out and seeing how they work for you. Uh, fake nails, um, glue on, or even just nail polish doesn't typically last very long on me because I have, well, I think I have oily nail beds. That's what people tell me. So typically things come off pretty fast, but these have lasted really well for me. Um, so I definitely recommend giving them a try. I will link the, um, website in the description box below if you want to go over and check them out. And um, if you've used them before or if you try them out, be sure to let me know how your experience goes. But that is going to be it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one.